welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning. It is 4 a.m. and I'm just making a cup of coffee before heading off to the gym. I did not sleep well last night, and I don't even want to go to the gym, but I have to. And I have my swell bottle, my towel, my phone, my Orange Theory band, and I am off to the gym. Mm, I'll feel better when this is done. All right, gang, so it is now 6 a.m., and I am back from the gym, and now it is time to get cleaned up and ready for work. So that is a typical morning. It's 10:19, and I'm home from work because I think I'm getting the stomach flu and have a fever. Um, I wasn't feeling great at the gym this morning, but I just tried to get through it. But I definitely have some sort of stomach. I'm all flushed. I have some sort of stomach bug, um, but I'm determined to keep this going. Um, but right now, I'm gonna let Bubba's out and then put on some comfortable clothes and curl up on the couch with my hot water bottle. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where we're at. trying to make myself feel better. Um, I made some tea and I'm just trying to rest. Bubba's decided that he needed to join me and cuddle. And then I'm also watching some Vlogmas videos. I really feel pretty terrible. Um, but one good thing is I was just looking at my laptop and I realized yesterday after I had already edited everything, I did a book, um, shelf tour of our office books and shared some of my favorites and I didn't put it in the footage. So I'm actually gonna insert it right now. A couple of you asked how did it go with um, dinner last night? So funny story is that Steven, hold on one second. So Steven did make this stew, white bean stew from Martha Stewart's magazine and I came to eat it and he worked so hard. And I was like, why is there no broth? And he was like, oh, I thought it looked soupy, so I drained it all off. So basically, it was just like a pot of, a pot of vegetables. And he was like, yeah, it asked me to crush up part of the can of beans. And he goes, I, I threw that in there and it looked runny. I was like, well, that, if you let that cook, that is what would have thickened it up and made it like a stew but instead he drained all the liquid off of it and it was just like white beans and carrots <laughs> in a bowl. And then he like toasted some bread and it was good. It was, it tasted fine. He did a good job, but I thought it was cute. And I was like, did the recipe tell you to drain off the liquid? And he like wouldn't admit it. He's like, no. And I was like, that's because that was going to be the broth for the stew. And, uh, but it was fine, it was good. And then last night we ended up watching Christmas Vacation. And then we have started watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon and it is so good. I'm really enjoying it. It's about a woman who husband leaves her and she ends up starting a career in like stand-up comedy. And it's really, really good. Um, it takes place like in the 19, late 1950s uh, and then probably like into the 1960s. It's like right around like that era. One of you asked for a book tour. So we have a couple bookshelves in the house and this is one of them. This is our office. For those who haven't seen like a house tour, this is our office and then this is our awesome, here I'll show you. This is our awesome bookcase and I arranged them in color so you guys have asked for a book tour, so I'm going to actually give you one. So what are some books on my bookcase? 
Um, I'm just gonna point out ones that I love. The second Mrs. Hockaday is one that I love. Um, right here, guys, is my prized possession. This is the entire set of Anne of Green Gables that was my grandmother's, and I just love it. Come down a little bit. Eat, Pray, Love. A great classic, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Spirit Junkie. What else do I have here? Oh, these are great for kids. Um, Chains and Forge, they're historical fiction, but really great for children to read. The Mystery of the Utmost Happiness, this is a fantastic book. The Other Westmore is another fabulous, fabulous book. What else really stands out to me? The Reader, so good. What else is good? Huh. Miracles Now by Gabrielle Bernstein I love. How Google Works, this is one of my favorite like workbooks. Um, it tells you like how to run productivity and just about like running a good company. The Smartest Kids in the World, that's a great book around education and world policy. Two Hillary Clinton books. What's on the shelf? Let's just take a look. I have, uh, none of those really stand out to me as really great. The Martha Stewart Crafting Encyclopedia is pretty fantastic. Those are Stevens. Oh, this is The Miniaturist is a really great book. I really enjoyed it. It would be good to read this time of year, too. So if you're looking for a holiday book to read, The Miniaturist is a good, like, winter read. In a Dark, Dark Wood, it was fine. This is a fabulous, like, romance tale. It's by Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote um, Eat, Pray, Love. It's called The Signature of All Things. It is a really well-done book. Really well done. I, Elizabeth is a great book. I love a period piece. These are all Stevens here, so I don't know anything about them. Yeah, those are all Stevens books. My collection of Jane Austen seven novels. This is one of my all-time favorites. My husband's wife, I actually re recommended this. It is fantastic. I have another copy of Eat, Pray, Love, because you know you just might need to. To Kill a Mockingbird. One of my classic favorites, Goodbye Vitamin. I featured this in a favorites video. What else do we have? Emma, one of my favorite Jane Austen books of all time. <gasps> this is one of my favorites. This is Wally Lamb, She's Come Undone. I've actually bought three copies of this because I've gone through all of them. It's so good. This is a great fiction story. Just about like, if you want, if you like good character studies, this is fantastic. Let's see. Also, when arranging your books, arrange them by color because it gets the highest impact. Mm. Oh, Furiously Happy. If you want a book that will actually make you laugh out loud, I read this at the airport and was literally laughing like a maniac. Um, so this is great. Thrive by Ariana Huffington. One of my favorites, Little House. I, this is the collection of the first five novels. Um, I have them all in one. What else is really good here? Gloria Steinem's book, My Life on the Road. This was like a really easy read and really good. Lilac Girls, I cannot recommend. I did not love it, and I know so many people did. The Snow Child is a great, great winter read, too. Um, fantastic book. What do we have here? The Help, another favorite. A lot of these are... Any teacher should read Educating Esme. It's a really great story. I love The Happiness Project and The Happier at Home with Gretchen Rubin. That's fantastic. Oh, another favorite, Barbara King's Lover, The Poisonwood Bible. One of my favorite books. So that is the office bookshelf. I will give you a tour of like another one. But um, yeah, when you step back and you look at books arranged in color, it gives such a cool impact to a bookcase. 
Um, so that would be my quick tip around arranging those. This is Stephen's cuckoo clock. I had this uh, imported from Europe for him for Christmas last year. It's like a modern take on a cuckoo clock. We love it. You'll hear it sometimes in videos. Those are some of my favorite books in our office. We have another bookcase upstairs and I will give you a tour of that one during Vlogmas at some point. But um, all right, I am off to rest again. What, Bubby? What you sinking? What you sinking? Who's cuddling with me? Who's cuddling? You know I don't feel good. You know I don't feel good. So you take care of me? You're so handsome. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Do you know who's there? Daddy home? While I'm up, I'm going to go ahead and open our advent calendars for day four. Maybe there'll be a great tea um, that I can drink. So let's go ahead and start. Look at the sample size of this. It is a sea salt, hot scrub, warm ginger, and eucalyptus. Also, I tried that rosewood and pine um, shower foam yesterday, and it was amazing. Day four for David's teas. I already see it. Let me put my box in the correct way. And let's see what we got. We got Silk, Dragon, and Jasmine. And this one is Rose. All right, day four of Diptyque. This one on the other hand, I love. Oh, I just don't want to tear anything. Oh, Amber, Amber, one of my favorites. What I'm going to do right now is just lay right back down. <laughs> so, oi, I'm gonna call this day four done so I can get better and bring the best content that I can. I hope that you found something to enjoy in this. Um, like always, I'm gonna try to link everything that you saw in the vlog down below. Um, and before I go though, say I'm a subscriber and an Instagram follower. She and I have communicated back and forth a couple times and she has shared the channel with her son Jackson. And I just wanna give him a shout out and say, Jackson, I am so glad that you're enjoying Vlogmas and I hope that you are having a marvelous, marvelous Monday. And I look forward to hearing all that you are up to and continue to be nice to everybody and Learn as much as you can in school and work really, really hard. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Um, with that, I'm going to end this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, and this is the season of giving. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.